Hello YouTube, how's it going? Sam here. So AWS Storage Gateway. This is an offering from AWS and uh, it will enable hybrid storage between on-premises environment and uh, the AWS cloud. If it uh, sounds a bit complicated, let me break it down to you with the help of a diagram. So what it does is it will connect on-premises software appliances with cloud-based storage. And uh, a typical you know, example would be you know looking like this you I mean every organization have their own data center so in their data center they have you know servers aligned and storage gateway is something uh, essentially it's a virtual machine image we will be deploying that to the data center itself and why do we need to do it so this storage gateway sitting here it will make the communication possible between your data center to your cloud AWS cloud storage solutions such as you know S3 Glacier and things like that so it's a bridge actually it will act as a bridge between your data center and the AWS storage solutions that's why we use uh, uh, you know uh, storage gateways and coming back to the slide uh, it seamless seamlessly integrates on-premises enterprise applications and workflows with Amazon's block and the object cloud storage services through industry standard storage protocols it does use you know industry standard uh, storage protocols so in that way uh, it is you know secure it is reliable we have the you know uh, ability to monitor uh, the transfer rates uh, the you know data transfer speeds and things like that so it provides low latency performance by caching frequently accessed data on premises while storing data securely and durably in amazon cloud storage services uh, you know there are plenty of use cases of people who are you know looking for uh, backup uh, archival solutions uh, they'll be you no know, relying on a storage gateway heavily and types of you know storage gateway uh, AWS storage gateway supports three storage interfaces first one being file second one is volume and finally tape each gateway you have can provide one type of interface so let's take a look at a file gateway this is the very first type it will enable you to store and retrieve objects in amazon s3 using file protocols such as nfs nfs is a network file system so using uh, you know these kind of protocols uh, the object storage and retrieval is possible in amazon s3 and uh, the use case is you know this if you are looking for you know storing uh, flat files in s3 this is the best solution uh, you will be you know using file gateway for that purpose and then the second type is volume gateway it will provide block storage to your applications as local iSCSI disk volumes that can be tiered into Amazon S3 so we have you know got uh, two different types we have got a cached mode and we have stored mode unlike file gateway which are used for flat file storage in S3 volume gateways or iSCSI based uh, storage it is used for block based storage uh, you know think of uh, them as you know virtual hard disk in in the cache mode your primary data is returned to S3 while uh, you retain some portions of it locally in a cache for frequently accessed data so the backup will be happening to S3 but uh, you know uh, there will be a cache maintained uh, in the data center or within you know storage gateway uh, for the you know frequently accessed data so remember that and then in stored mode your primary data is stored locally all of them all of it will be you know stored locally uh, in inside the data center and your entire data set is available for low latency access while asynchronously backed up to AWS so there is a you know um, backup operation going on but then all your you know primary data will be available in on site itself within the dc itself and the data data transport will happen through you know gateways uh, storage gateway in your case this is going to be volume gateway here so th that's the difference between cache mode and uh, stored mode so remember cache mode most frequently accessed data will be available locally wherein in stored mode the primary you know uh, data storage is uh, happening uh, locally itself it will be kept inside your data center itself tape gateway it will provide backup applications with uh, an iSCSI virtual tape library VTL interface consisting of a virtual media changer virtual tape drivers and uh, virtual tapes virtual tape data is stored in Amazon S3 or can be archived to Amazon Glacier 
uh, if you are you know familiar with uh, tip backup how much of a pain it is so amazon does uh, provide with uh, tip gateway uh, you know solutions for that uh, scenario it will fit you know perfectly in in that case so let me reiterate file gateway this is for a flat file storage and uh, these are stored directly on s3 itself and uh, uh, the data will be taken from your data center it will pass through your file gateway and it will end up in uh, your you know s3 buckets then we have something called as volume gateway volume gateways are uh, for block uh, block based storage you can you know uh, store you know programs you can in, you know have uh, oss uh, operating systems or uh, you know something like that because uh, that can you know host block based storage under volume gateway we have got two different uh, modes one is you know stored mode and then cached mode stored mode uh, primary data is stored locally and data will be you know backed up to your uh, AWS infrastructure as well, uh, AWS storage solutions as well. And in cached mode, primary data is returned to you know S3 directly, but uh, most frequently accessed data will be kept locally in a cache. And finally, tape gateway, it will provide backup applications with uh, iSCSI virtual tape library, VTL interface. And this data can be you know transported through tape gateway from your uh, data center and it can be even uh, archive to amazon glacier or it will be you know uh, kept in amazon s3 as per your requirement so that's all about uh, uh, storage gateway for now i'm going to mention this link in the description section below do take a look at it and that's all i have for now guys thanks a lot for watching the video i'll see you in the next one